The first people to populate Europe were black people. They were known as Gromorodi. First people to populate England were black people. They were known as Bika. First people to populate India were black people. They were known as Dravidians. First people to populate Japan, black people. They were known as Masaba Negroes. Mulembe, Kamaku, Wagasile, they came from here. They populated Japan. That's why Japanese names are like Ugandan names. Takahara, Nakamura, Kato, Toyota, all those. Because the first Japanese were black people. In ancient time, the whole world belonged to the black man, the black woman. You are the people that populated the world. You are the people that gave birth to everybody else. And quite significantly, and I am telling you this as a scholar, I have a library of 32,000 books. I have read each one of them. Not only read them, but remember them. I have traveled in almost every corner of the world, lectured at the most prestigious universities. I am telling you that in ancient time, the old, the honorary people who are on earth were you and your ancestors. You. And you are also the people of the scriptures. All scripture, be it the Rigvit Veda, the Nama Pali, the Peran Peru, the Papyrus of Ani, the Papyrus of Hunefa, the Quran, the Bible, the Book of the Rosta, the Epic of Gilgamesh, is all about black. So this is why, to my African brothers and sisters, why many black people around the world do not like it when people tell them that they're from Africa. Let me say this, though. Not all black people feel this way. But why the ones that do, do. And I can't speak for all of them, but I can tell you why people like me do. The reason why is it's not that we're ashamed of Africa. That's not even close. I'm very proud of my heritage. I'm proud of my connection to Africa, my brothers and sisters from Africa. But a lot of us, like myself, have spent years studying history around the globe. And when you dig and search long enough, you realize that we're not from Africa. We're not. And it's okay. You realize that the out of Africa story is exactly that. It's a story that was told to trick people out of their land. When you dig deep enough, you begin to see that literally the entire globe was was populated with melanated black people who originated in the lands that they were in. And yes, of course, some of them migrated here and there and, and to and fro, just like how where you see Africans are today. Many of them weren't even there, uh, you know, at least a, a few hundred years ago. And then you go back even thousands of years ago. They were on other parts of the continent or they came from even other parts of the globe. The thing that you must get into your head is that black people, and you can still call them Africans if you want, but black people are from every inch of this globe. There's not a part of this globe that we're not from. The entire globe is a melanated globe. So I really need for us to understand this. Black people are not denying their heritage. What is, what is annoying is having people tell us that we're not from the places that we're from and trying to force us to deny our heritage from where we are from geographically and claim areas that we're not from geographically and then gaslight us and tell us that we're self-hating. And that's not the truth. The reality is, is that Africans and black people, which I, I don't even like the word black, but this is how you guys like to refer to us, black people all over this globe have a common ancestry. We are the original indigenous people of the globe. But our ancestry is not originated in one corner of the globe, a big corner, but does it, it does not originate in one corner. We literally populated the entire globe. And I really need you guys to understand that because this is not just the history of other black people that are in other parts of the uh, of the world geographically this is also the history of africans this is your history this history says that you your brothers and sisters were not isolated in one segment of the world 
Your brothers and sisters literally populated the entire globe. This is something you should embrace. You should be proud of and you should find your camaraderie in that. Don't get so offensive and defensive when black people say that they're not African. Because I'll tell you straight up, I am not African. But do I love Africa? Yes. Do I love Africans? Yes. Do I wish we were more unified as a global people? Yes. It doesn't make sense that we're not. But you're not going to get me to lie about a history that is not true. The man in this video, I don't know anything about him. I just found the video. And he sounds like he's from Africa. And I appreciate him so much for being honest about this. Not only that, but a lot of us learned our global history from Africans. So this is nothing about hating who we are and denying it and all this stuff. And yes, of course, we know that we definitely have a history of hating ourselves and African-Americans being ignorant um, and, you know, saying very racial and ethnically um, ignorant statements towards Africans. I've heard the stories. I've never done that but I have heard the stories. So I can understand how that could put a certain perspective in your mind when you hear people say certain statements like that. And I also get that everyone that, doesn't, that says that statement doesn't necessarily have this information that we populated the whole globe. But I'm telling you, you shouldn't get defensive about that. You should be on board with helping black people around the globe reestablish their roots I made a video, not uh, well, actually, it was a while ago. It was a few years ago where I was arguing with a Mexican. I can't remember if it was a man or a woman who was losing the argument and started started um, started falling into racial slurs because they had no sufficient evidence to back up their argument. But I did, and the person whose video we were arguing over, they definitely did. And the person was presenting factual evidence that black people were here in this land before a boat ever came over here. When the, when the colonizers or the settlers or however you wanna to refer to them first came over here, they literally drew what the people looked like that they saw on the land. And do you know what they looked like? They looked like me. They had kinky hair, don't like that word e either, but I got to speak everybody else's language. They had my features, my skin texture, my complexion. They were what we would call black people. They were not the Mongoloid Indians. And yes, the Mongoloid Indians were here as well, but they mostly populated the Western, the Midwestern regions. Even the far west, the coast of the Western regions looked the the natives there looked again like me but you can again look at them like snoop snoop dog actually looks like the original natives that were over there and i have pictorial evidence to prove that but i just i need you guys to get past this debate on where we come from and oh we're not you know we're not uh proud of who we are and we're denying our heritage no you guys need to catch up on your own history because this, again, I don't care if you are from the continent or you're from another part of this globe. We are still connected. We're still brothers and sisters. And that is a part of your history as well. Knowing that your lineage, excuse me, <laughs> knowing that your lineage spanned across the entire planet. I need you to let that sink in. Remember, the out of story Africa did not come from black people. That came from European, Caucasian European people. And there was an agenda. And it was, a, it was a late story as well. It didn't come until, I believe, either the 17 or 1800s. And there's a whole story behind that on why that happened and all that. But in any case, that's not even, it's a, it's a theory. It's not a fact. It's a theory that's laced with propaganda. Let me just say this before I go. Let me give you this example. There's an island that's close to the Australian island. It's called the Fiji Islands. And on this island, it's populated with beautiful, a beautiful people. They're brown-skinned people, melanated people with that wear big froze and they have pretty faces and pretty skin. And they've been on that island for thousands of years. According to, you know, from what we know, they've been on that island forever, literally forever. If you ask them, they'll probably tell you they've been on the island forever. Do you know that they're trying to tell these people now that they come from Africa? 
The thing is, is that's impossible. Every black pe person around the globe could not have come from Africa. It's impossible. We pop this, this planted. Whew, this planet is a brown planet. It's okay. It's okay. I think that once, I think that a lot of people have, especially from Africa, they've allowed their egos to get involved with the claim that they were the, the, they carry the mother and father gene. And that even has been debunked several times. Don't let your ego cloud a greater history that you're a part of. We know, I know that brothers and sisters from Africa have been traversing the seas before any white person ever came to America, went to Asia, uh, before they came out of Asia. I mean, after they came out of Asia, that is, but went to Asia or any other part of Australia. African brothers and sisters were literally in ships trading back and forth from America to Africa. Now, of course, they could have been trading with people that don't necessarily look like us, but they weren't. They were trading with people that look exactly like them, which was us. It was us. It was us right here in America. So please embrace your expanded history and stop owning a, propaganda, a, a, a propagated history. It's not your history. Your history is bigger than that. See past your ego. Your history is so much bigger than that. It just is. Peace.